here, Clayton Stuffelbeam, PFR agronomist with Bex Hybrids. Today we're putting in an on-farm research trial. This trial happens to be dry fertilizer broadcast versus banded. So what I'm doing is I'm making those strips right now. Uh, we've got three different rates in this trial. 300, 225, and 150 pound uh, blend of DAP and potash. So what we're doing in the trial here is we're going to do the strips first. Then we're going to pull the hoses off of the strip till shanks and we're going to put them on deflectors and then make strips at the same time and broadcast on top of those strips. So in this particular trial today, we've got the same tillage. Our tillage is not going to change across this trial. This trial is going to end up being about seven acres, so a pretty good sized trial here. So what we've got, uh, I've got a prescription set up here. Right now it's running the two and a quarter rate. And as we change those rates, it's going to change those to those three different quadrants. That's kind of how the field is mapped out. So from top to bottom, we've got three replications. And from right to left, we've got three replications as well. And what that allows us to do is if we've got a field with uh, several soil types, that will allow us to place those blocks in different soil types so we can analyze that data by soil type. Also in this particular trial, uh, we've got anhydrous ammonia. So we're doing both at the same time with this Ag Leader In Command 1200 monitor. That allows us to have a prescription and apply the ammonia and the dry all consecutive times. So it's working great here today in this trial. It's actually the first time uh, using this system that way. Also, we're using a Salford uh, Valmar dry box uh, with their uh, universal terminal ISO bus into the Ag Leader in command. And then as far as our strip till shanks or strip till units, we're utilizing Yetter Maverick strip till shanks. And here's we come up, you see we're applying our two and a quarter right now, and we're getting ready to change. And we're gonna change to 300 here pretty quick. We'll put borders in between these strips before we analyze that data. And that way we know we've got clean applications going into that data set.